Hi there, Christina here, and welcome to the Becoming Wives Show, where we explore ways to navigate the seasons of your life with meaning and maintain your sense of power and purpose in your marriage. Now, we'll kick things off with the Honor Your Feminine series for wives. And in this short video series, we're going to look at three ways to honor your feminine. You see, in a world of lost values and disregard for sacredness of all things, we've become drained. And we've forgotten about some of the things that makes us who we truly are, or energies are depleted, or creativity sapped. And there are some among us who no longer have the capacity or the willingness to feel. So here's just a reminder to honor all parts of you. Here's to reclaiming and rediscovering all the lost values and virtues. Here's to giving to yourself a little bit more thought and love. Here's to accommodating your intuition, your inner guidance, and connecting with the divine within. Now on today's episode of the Honor Your Feminine series, we're going to look at honoring your feelings. Now let's get right into it. So I was talking with a wife recently, and she shared with me some powerful things. And as she shared, she talked about the lack of support from her family, how much she desires it, and how much it is affecting her not getting it. And so, as I spoke with her, I asked her, what if, what if you never get to this level of support from your family, what happens then? And she took a deep sigh and then she said, I guess I'll just have to fill my life with things to find something to do to keep busy and fill my life so that I don't have to feel. And that hit me. You see, when a woman says, so I don't have to feel, that's coming from a deep place. That's coming from a place of a heart. And so I just wanted to record this video to you, for you today to let you know that it's okay. It is okay to feel. And feelings, your feelings are one of the most beautiful parts of your feminine. And the truth is, those feelings won't always be pleasant. They can be aggravating and frustrating. They can be painful and terrifying even. But there's some good to that. You see, it means that you're still in reality. It means that you're still present. And the truth is, you will go crazy if you keep experiencing the same emotions over and over again. And even those hurting emotions, they have their benefits. Maybe they allow you to take some time away. Maybe they allow you to connect with yourself and with God. Maybe they allow you to relieve yourself and to cry. So don't dismiss it. Acknowledge those feelings. And then after sitting with it, you give yourself some time and allow yourself to get up from, those converse, from that conversation and move on. Another point is you don't always need to be doing. Allow yourself to be, just be. You don't have to be doing something at every hour in order to be productive or in order to be achieving. Now, just like in exercising, right? It is in that period of rest and recovery that growth takes place, that healing takes place. So allow yourself some time to, in quietude and solitude, enjoy a little bit of nature, take pleasure in pleasure. It is that time when the inspiration and insights come to you. Allow your creative juices to flow. It's not in the hustle and the bustle. So allow yourself to be. Now, I hope you found this little reminder helpful. Be sure to subscribe and look out for next week's video when we'll talk about honoring your creativity. In the meantime, let me know in the comments how you feel about embracing all your feelings. Bye-bye for now.